Hey everyone, today's video is all about mud daubers and how to prevent them from moving their house into your house. What's a mud dauber? This is a mud dauber. What does a house look like? It looks like this. Sometimes it looks like this, which is kind of cool. Now what a mud dauber is, well, it's an insect, it's a wasp. If it stings you, it's not as painful as a regular wasp, but if you're allergic to stings, you should still seek medical attention. What they do, making their nests, they make them out of mud, so they're looking for places that are warm and cozy away from rain. They set them up in small circular cells. What they do is that's where they lay their eggs. They can lay up to 25 eggs at a time. They lay one egg and then they go and paralyze a spider and tuck that in there so when the egg hatches, the, the newborn has something to eat. Ew. <laughs> but, uh, that's how it works. And they love propane from what we've heard in the research. They are attracted to propane. So that means your refrigerator, your furnace, and your hot water heater are all susceptible to having a mud dauber's nest in there. So what we're gonna to do to prevent them from coming into Maggie the RV is we are going to put on bug shields. This will be for our refrigerator. This one will be for our furnace. Our hot water heater is an on-demand and it already has a screen on it. It's not as, not as close as these are, but I can't find a screen to go on it. So if we find something, then we'll do another video on how to put the screen on the on-demand hot water heater. But until then, these are the two items that we have. We're gonna start with the refrigerator. So we're gonna go over and show you how to take the cover off so we can put these on let's go cool. now our on-demand hot water heater like I said has a screen right here it's again not as tight as what we'll be putting on the other ones it seems but, to be working yeah <laughs> <laughs> now as far as getting your refrigerator cover off you may have two of these depending on your refrigerator but they're all designed pretty much the same way it's two tabs up here just turn it if you can't turn it just get a screwdriver put it in the slot so that they are vertical and then just pull away and then that will do it as far as the refrigerator kit goes, it's going to include three sets of screens and six zip ties. Now, we don't have any with us. That's one of the things about downsizing. I have plenty of these in storage. <laughs> <laughs> so next time we go out, we're gonna pick up at least, well, we're gonna pick up in the bag so we can put three more in because they want you to put one on each side. I just feel better with one in the middle. Now, as far as the screens go, that's pretty much all it is. And if you measure, before you order, we will have links to everything in the description box down under this video, so you can go down there and check it out. But when you order, you wanna make sure that you measure so that you're measuring the right one. Sometimes you may have to trim them. Sometimes you may have to trim off the box. I measured, I was able to order the perfect ones to fit. They don't stick out. They go all the way to the bottom. No trimming necessary. No trimming necessary. How easy is that? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so that it goes across here. That way there I have the support of this beam and that one there. And you want to have the zip tie where it zips on the inside here. Otherwise, that'd look funny on the other side. So I'm going to drop it through. Manipulate it. Come up this way. And I'm just going to lay it down so it doesn't zip all over the place on me. And I'm just going to start it. I'm going to get them all started first. Now, these little ones are fun. Not killing myself on it, it's very loose right now. I'm just gonna do that for the other side and then work my way down. But once this side's done, we'll, we'll lock it into place anyway. But see, I, I don't like the fact that, I'm definitely gonna put more on this, I'll feel better. But anyway, again, down, turn around. Bring it up. Bring them both up. Come on. <laughs> now hold it and tighten it. Same on the other side. Yes, yeah, so now that's on. Actually, it looks pretty solid. Mm. But see though, there is a, a, little a little lip there. So yeah, we'll put another one on. We'll go to the store and buy some more. All right, we are doing the last one now. Popping it through there. Bring it up through there. Oh, when you do this, make sure when you stick this in that the back of it will be facing this. Because if it's this way, it's not going in. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. And cut off the excess. There we go. Yeah, like I said though, we will be putting on another zip tie because check out right here. See, that could be closed more. I'm sure they can't get in there. Mm -hmm. They can't get through the holes. They can't get through there. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still, I want to put another one on anyway. Just, I'd feel better to have another three down the middle. We went out and bought cable ties to finish this project. We bought 650 of them, and they come in all kinds of pretty colors. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool container. We'll put a link down below to uh, a, a similar batch. <laughs> yep, so we're going to finish up this project now. Down. Up. All right, we'll bring you back to the video now. Now putting back on one, two, three, four, four tabs. One, two, three, four, four slots. Line it up. Stick them in, push it back, and just turn these to horizontal. And it's in. Look, Maggie's got some chrome, hun. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, now off to. This thing. is what we'll be doing next. We're going to cover it. All right, for the furnace bug screen, these are the installation instructions. We have the Atwood Hydro Flame. We have this bar going across where the exhaust comes out, and that's where the two springs that come with the kit are supposed to hook in, one on each end. Now the kit comes with the bug screen, naturally, two springs and an installation tool. As far as the springs go, one side is gonna have a crossbar right here. If you look at the opposite side, there's no crossbar there. Now the reason for that is, with the installation tool, there is a slot in it. Can you see the slot? Yep. That slot fits into that crossbar. So it's going to go in the side that doesn't have the crossbar, lock onto the crossbar. That way there, when you're putting it on, you're stretching the spring and you'll be able to turn it to lock it onto the heater. That's exactly how this is going to work. Now, <laughs> the only problem is these springs are way too long. So what we've decided to do is we bent ours. We've tried this multiple times. This works. And the way that you bend them, you're just taking needle nose pliers right about there and just bending it down on both sides. And what that does is it shortens the distance because this is where it's gonna be grabbing. So these will fit a lot better. The other thing the instructions don't tell you is if you put them directly right on top of where you're going, like, like where, the, where the rod is on the exhaust port that they lock onto, they're still gonna be too long. So we put them way out on the edges and then use the tool to lock them on. All right, we'll show you what we mean outside. All right, now I already have the tool inserted through the hole. And again, just gonna lock it on right to there. First one's easy, put it in, lock it on. You know what, I'm gonna switch sides. Now you can see it right there, the hook. So I gotta push it and turn it into it, just like that. And there you go, that's going nowhere. If you don't put the bends in it, this thing's gonna flop in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> you need to make sure you clean these screens so you have proper airflow to your furnace. Yeah, not just here, but on the refrigerator one too. Because if they don't have proper airflow, you will have a situation on your hands. So that's gonna bring this video to a close. If you like what you saw, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. If you want to become part of the Grown Gig On With Us gang, right down there in the corner. Just click it and you're in. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Or you could just say hi. Because we'll say hi back, we always do. And by the way, don't throw the tool away just in case you need to take it off for some reason. <laughs> 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 Until our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We're Gig On With Us. Bye. Bye.